This is an exciting day for us. It's March 17th and we're in the fields. You know, the old timers and the Farmer's Almanac always said that after the full moon and on or before the 17th of March, St. Patty's Day, you had to plant the spring peas or you wouldn't make a good crop. Well, we found that isn't completely true, but this is an exciting day. The soil is dried out enough and we've got a beautiful day here, wind blowing, as you can, I'm sure, hear. We've got 63 degrees and we're in the fields and that is an exciting thing for a farmer. We're in the fields and we're planting spring peas today. 62 days from now you can have English peas on the menu and that sounds awfully good to me. I'm ready for some good fresh peas. Lots of things are starting to come off of the farm. We're starting to see some morels poke up through the, the ground in the woods. The ramps are poking up through. We should be here in the next few days starting to harvest the first ramps and we'll go for a couple months on the fresh ramps. We're harvesting some French breakfast radishes and some wintered over spinach. Things are really starting to happen. Some spring lettuces, but rhubarb is just around the corner. Boy, this is an exciting day for us to get back in the field. This is the 1947 Model 420 John Deere. We like some of the older equipment. They're a little smaller, a little lighter, no compaction. The attachment behind the John Deere is a, is a piece of equipment called a cul-de-packer. It actually helps level the ground out and make a real nice bed, nice environment for the peas to grow up through and flourish. Chef, the peas will be ready in 62 days. In the meantime, give your product specialist a call where we're harvesting lots of things coming out of the ground, where we're trying to put the very best product available from our earth to your table. Look forward to working with you, Chef.